All right, when we left off, we built this beautiful website, only it's not so beautiful. Pretty much everything I create always looks bad. And so um, we have to spice this thing up a little bit. Now, obviously, we can do inline tags. Uh, so we could add in here and say, uh, like on the heading two, I could I could make this, you know, style and say equals and then say uh, font color. What is it? Color. And I, I can make this font, you know, blue or whatever. And then I can say, um, you know, I can change the, the actual font family, uh, font family and do some fancy font here and say, yeah, we're going to use uh, Franklin Gothic medium. I don't know what this is going to look like. Let's take a look. So we run this. And there it is. There's that great change that I just made. Nobody should put me in charge of design ever. Um, we, But we also know we can do CSS. Now, it, you might make the assumption, which would be true, that um, if we're creating CSS folders or files, they need to be in that pub publicly accessible folder so that they can be downloaded along with the web page. And so within this www root folder, I can go in and create, add a folder, and I'll call this one CSS. And I can go in there and make any changes that I want to. So within this file, I can say, I right clicked on the folder, sorry, right click, add, and then a new item. And one of the items is going to be a cascading style sheet, um, CSS, somewhere in here. Search CSS. CSS. OK, style sheet is what we're looking for. So we'll find this style sheet, CSS. And I'll just call this, this is the site CSS. All right, so I build that the site CSS inside the CSS folder. And then obviously in here, I can go to the body and I can make any changes that I want to. So again, I'll just change the font family and say, let's use a different scheme here. So let's use uh, whatever. I mean, just pick one of these. Trebuchet. I'm impressed that I said that. Um, and then, you know, make that change. Then I go back to my site and I run this. And it looks exactly the same. What's going on? All right, hopefully you caught it. So when I'm bringing in CSS, I need to put it in the file itself. So it's linked to it. So we need to put a link in here. And again, it, with, using Visual Studio in Windows, we can take and drag this up to here into our, it goes in our head tag, if you'll recall. We, we drag in a link. And that's going to link um, our, our into our CSS folder. We don't have to put the www root. It's just going to know where it's going to go. CSS slash site CSS. And that's that file there. Now it's linked to the sheet. And now if we run it, then we see that the font changed to a different font. And now the style is being applied to the entire sheet. So again, in the old days, we just styled everything in line like this. And it was a terrible way of doing things because if you ever wanted to change anything, you had to go through every single web page and try and find the styles and change them. And it was a lot of, you know, find and replace and trying to get it right. And then everything went wrong. And so some smart person, I love to see this evolution, just people, the ingenuity of people to come up with different ways of doing things. Somebody said, well, why don't we just create a sheet that has all these different styles listed on it? So in the body tag, I'll do this. If it's an H1 tag, I can do something else. And then we'll just say, when you want to attach the style to uh, a sheet, we just drop in a link here to it. And then it'll go, anytime it hits one of these tags, a paragraph tag or whatever, it'll go find in the style sheet and um, get that related information and style it accordingly. And then we can create a nice consistent look across the entire website. Now, the only dilemma is that for people like me, I don't even know what looks good. And so because I don't know what looks good, um, 
there is a help for people like me as well. And so we're going to use something called Bootstrap, which helps a lot of us who don't know what we're doing in terms of style to come up with a nice looking style for our website. And we will do that in the next video. Spencer out.